Well, glad to see you all here. Thank you for coming. As many of you already know, my name is Dale Johnston. I spent seven years in prison, five of it on Ohio's death row for something I didn't do, for a 1982 murder of my daughter. A witness came forward and said he had seen something that might bear on my daughter's disappearance. He said he had seen somebody force two young people in a vehicle. He didn't know what the date was. He didn't know who the man was. He didn't know who I was. He didn't know who the kids were. In fact, he really knew nothing other than he had seen something. Nineteen days later, after a picture appeared of me in the newspaper, and after he was improperly hypnotized, then he said it was me that forced the kids in the car, and he named my daughter and her boyfriend by name, and then he named the type of vehicle that I drove. With all this, he was permitted to testify at my trial. The only other piece of evidence that they had was a boot print that they had found in the cornfield where my daughter's and her friend's body parts was found. This was after over 200 or more people had tromped through that area searching for the kids, trying to find out possibly what happened to them. This print was sent to the FBI their uh, expert on footprints. He testified that none of my shoes fit that cast. And in fact, he stated that in his opinion, it was a bare footprint. Since this didn't fit the prosecutor's scenario of what they wanted to say, they hired a person who was willing to say what they wanted to say if the money was right. And the money was right, they paid her sufficiently. She testified that it was my boot print that they had found in the cornfield. Ever since, since that, this time, uh, this person's uh, credibility has been fully destroyed. She has been exposed for a complete fraud. The things that she says she could do, no human being could do those things. My conviction was overturned by the Ohio Supreme Court based on one improper hypnosis. Two, withholding evidence. The state failed to disclose four witnesses that was not turned over to my defense counsel trial. These witnesses had seen my daughter and her boyfriend in a location that contradicted the crucial eyewitness testimony of the fellow that was prosecuted. They were hypnotized. The type of eyewitness identification in the bill that the governor signed into law was used in Keith's trial. I see all the grave areas, errors that was done in my trial. It was also done in Keith's, a flawed eyewitness identification, forensic evidence that has now been discredited. Mistakes in my case, thankfully, was caught in time. Before it's too late, I pray that the governor and the parole board grant clemency to Kevin and prevent an innocent man from being executed. In fact, Kevin deserves a new trial so evidence withheld can be presented. It took the authorities 27 years to find the people who killed my daughter and Todd Schultz, a person whose name was given to them in the first week that the kids were missing. 
Witnesses had come forward and said, you need to look at this guy. He had something to do with those kids. The sheriff dismissed this by saying he was just a drugged up local crazy, but he wouldn't do such a thing. I kind of wonder if this couldn't have been his attitude because he was one of the major drug dealers in that area at that time. Again, I urge the governor and the pro board to take a long, hard look at the facts in this case. Not what people have said, not what people have read, the facts. Thank you.